So last night, a couple of my friends picked me up on US 460 right outside of Frenchburg because um, yesterday my spoon broke and uh, I wasn't going to be able to eat. I tried to super glue it back together. I tried to duct tape it. It would last for one or two bites and break again. So I called a friend of mine who brought me some spoons and it took them about two hours to get to US 460 and I basically just sat along the side of the road. Um, in two hours time I only had one one person stop and ask me if I was okay. Which I thought was interesting. I was sitting literally right at the intersection of US 460 and KY 77. But uh, so they finally show up and it was about 7 p.m. and knowing that it was going to be pretty late before I could get to the next camp and I likely wouldn't be able to cook. Um, one, I didn't have water and I didn't know if there was a water source before I got to where I was going. And I knew that there was a Subway in Frenchburg. So my friend took me to Frenchburg to Subway and I bought all of us dinner there. And then uh, as we were leaving Subway, Irma showed up with this downpour rain like literally downpour where high wipers high windshield wipers you still couldn't hardly see but they took me back down to where I was at and I realized that like the next mile was a road mile or a mile and a half was road mile and I asked them to take me on down the road where you turn on this 4x4 four four, four wheel drive road and we couldn't find it because we were actually looking for a road sign but we drove up and down that road like two or three times and I finally saw a post that looks like a, a forest service post and I had them stop and I get out of the car and pouring down rain and I look and I was like yeah it's got a turtle on it that's where I go and I was like but do you mind to like wait until this rain lets up so we go back into Frenchburg, there's like a parking ride there, and we sit there for probably a half an hour and the rain finally lets up. And they bring me back out here and like from that post to this rock shelter is like a half of a mile, not quite a half a mile. And the rain come down to just more of a drizzle. So they let me out. I I hike about a tenth of a mile and realize I left my trekking poles in their car. I had my umbrella but left the trekking poles. Luckily I had cell phone service. I call them. They turn around, come back and give me my trekking poles. <laughs> and then I once again start headed for this rock shelter. And man, that 4x4 road was just solid mud. It was like walking on ice for a half a mile. But I got here and it was dark. Like it's 10, 10.30 p.m. by the time I get here last night. Can't see anything. And uh, there was another camp like four, four or five miles on down the trail. And I was like, I'm just going to do it right here. I've never actually slept in a rock shelter. So there's my little camp set up over there. I basically just did a ground sheet with my inflatable pad and my clothes bag for pillow I didn't even collapse the umbrella or anything I was just beat by the time I got here um, they also brought me a couple of uh, snacks to take on my trail uh, they brought me uh, Slim Jims and Reason Chocolates which I absolutely love both and uh, I think I think that because I took a zero day I'm actually going to be about a half a day short of food but now that I have those reasons and Slim Jims all will be good and they brought me a whole box of plastic spoons from like Walmart and I took four of those out because I've only got four days of this hike left but they're pretty flimsy so I put one in today's food bag and put the other three in my bear bag that has all my other food in it and hopefully I can make four of them last for four days but uh, so my plan today is is to skip breakfast and head straight to uh, farther down the trail and I'll pick up breakfast there because it's just there's not really 
very many flat rocks are a way to do breakfast here. And uh, I only have about 20 ounces of water. And I haven't even looked to see where the next water source is. Of course, there's this water here. But I'm not sure if it's safe to drink, so I'll skip it. But that's kind of my plan. This is uh, Wednesday, September 13th, and I'll update you later. I'm singing in the rain, just singing in the rain. These long road walks suck, especially with Irma. So, uh, Clifton Road is from camp. Clifton Road for about, oh, I don't know, a mile, mile and a half. Is for service road and then it turns to asphalt looks like I'm in for some bird walking again today good thing about that is I usually make decent time if I'm not lollygagging along and singing in the rain and stopping and looking at people oh I uh, had a strange interaction a while ago a uh, a guy in a Kentucky division of forestry truck stopped and asked me if I was hiking the trail, and I said yeah. He said uh he he also had on a division of forestry shirt, division of forestry hat. Obviously, he worked for a Kentucky division of forestry, and he stops and says, "Do you know if the trails allow like ATVs and go karts on them?" I was like, well, parts I've been doing. He said, what about the part you was just on? I was like, I really have no clue. I didn't see any signs that said you couldn't, but I didn't see any signs that said you could either. I was like, if I was you, if you really wanted to know, because I'm thinking he works for the Division of Forestry, he should know these things. You can always get on the internet and look up that section of the trail, and it will clearly say whether or not motorized vehicles are allowed. Um, I didn't know if it was like a trick question or <laughs> no clue, but so yeah, it's been my morning. It's uh going on 10 now. I've probably been out for an hour and a half, maybe hour and 45 minutes, and it's been raining pretty much from the moment I started. So now I've got an official complaint. These roadwalks are totally unsafe. I've almost been hit three times in the last 30 minutes. People are just distracted. If you look over here, you've got a hill. If you look over here, you've got a hill going down. And you got maybe, if you're lucky, eight inches of asphalt between that hill and the white line. And it's been, you know, the half mile of road I've been walking today like that and a lot of the other road walks that I've done have been just like that too so people are just you know they're on their way to work or in a hurry or whatever in the mornings totally distracted and it's just dangerous when will it be fixed when someone gets killed